Uh, good morning to everyone. First, uh, last class I gave some problems for practice. So I received some response from Betri Trimahan, Rahul, and Purna Chandra. Okay, good. Okay, the first problem uh, is. Uh, Okay, uh, evaluate this integral, integral a to b, x minus a whole power m minus 1 into b minus x whole power n minus 1 into dx in terms of beta function. I think I gave the, I don't gave the answer, okay, for this problem. Uh, <coughs> okay, I think we uh, will solve this problem. But actually, this is the uh, example problem in the Virarajan book. If you want to, you can verify. Okay. The final answer is uh, b minus a whole power m plus n minus 1 into beta of m comma n. But are you got the same answer? Sir? The final answer of this problem is okay, b minus a whole power m plus n minus 1 into yes, beta of m comma n. Ah, that's right. Yes, sir. Same answer. Yes, sir. Same answer, sir. Okay. Yeah, I think I gave it here. I, I gave the answer in the next page. B minus A whole power M plus N minus 1 into beta of M comma N. Okay. And then, uh, yes, for this, this problem is also... <coughs> Uh, example problem in the Virarajan book. Uh, answer is pi by 4 root 2. Okay. For this problem, already I solved in the classroom. Actually, I gave the wrong answer for this problem. Okay. Uh, and then Rahul and uh, Purvachandra, okay, they got a different answer. That's why they sent to me. And then I verified. Okay. Suppose if it is here, instead of Q, Suppose if you have square, then this is the correct answer. Pi by 8 root 2 is the correct answer only if uh, x square dx by 1 plus x power 4 whole square. If it is whole cube, then the final answer is uh, 5 pi root 2 that is in the numerator. 5 pi root 2 is the numerator <coughs> by 128. So again, I will repeat the answer, pi, pi, the root 2 by 128 is the correct answer for this problem. I think uh, Rahul and Purnachandra got the answer for this problem. And the fourth problem, okay, I think Vettri uh, Thirumohan solved this problem, okay. Uh, fifth problem is also Vettri uh, Thirumohan solved this problem, okay. So everyone, please go through the solution and uh, maybe some of you solved, I know that, but uh, maybe you, you don't share your answer with me. Uh, and uh, the sixth column, Petit uh, Ramon and Rahul, both of them solved this problem and uh, sent to me. Okay, I think sixth column is a little bit uh, difficult because uh, here uh, it is a little bit difficult to predict the substitution so that's why it is a little bit difficult okay uh, okay so anyway uh, you done it nicely and then uh, i'll go to now uh, the next uh, section multiple integrals okay actually uh, you can divide the last two in it uh, first two part first two part is beta and gamma function okay wow. second part multiple integrals in multiple integrals you have double integral and triple integrals okay and and you have change of order of integration change of order of integration and the third part you can uh, uh, 
multiple integrals multiple integrals using beta and gamma function fourth subdivision fourth uh, topic application application so i think i finished only this part still i need to finish these three uh, topic okay i divide the whole unit like this okay but still we have two weeks i am expecting uh, i am expecting but it's not uh, sure february 5 okay is the last working day for first year students I am, okay still it is not uh, i don't get any proper message i uh, receive this message only from my colleagues not from registrar or not from vice chancellor multiple integrals so first i will uh, uh, give you some concepts okay before going to solve the problem okay the first idea is suppose if i consider i i is uh, a double integral here the limit is uh, here c1 to c2 here something like c3 to c4 so c1 c2 c3 for all constant function of x comma y dx uh, dy okay so here c1 c2 c3 and c4 are constants So i is equal to i is equal to you can uh, write actually this means uh, here uh, you can uh, you can easily find out the limits for x so this is uh, uh, x means x varies from c1 to c2 that is inner limit and y varies from uh, c3 to c4 okay here the order of integration is immaterial the reason is all the limits are constants so that's why you can write i is equal to c3 to c4 first here i am integrating with respect to x First, I am going to integrate with respect to x as a single integral. After integrating with respect to uh, x, the function f of x comma y. Suppose this is the function of x, f of x comma y. You are integrating with respect to x means you should keep y is constant. Okay, and then you need to integrate with respect to x and substitute the limits for x. You will get a function of what? You will get function of Anybody? Function in y, sir. Very good. Function of y. Wrong. Okay. Very good. Wrong. Okay. Once you go on, first you need to differentiate with respect to x. That time you should keep y is constant. You are okay. And then substitute the limits for x. You will get a function of y. Okay. 
and then here dy so once you got function of y so this is uh, f of y or f1 of y something like so now remaining is what integral c3 to c4 f1 of y into dy integrate f1 of y with respect to y okay and then substitute the limits so that's over or you can do both of them are same integral c1 to c2 so integral c1 to c2 and then integral c3 to c4 f of x comma y into what into dy dy very good dy into what D x very good so if the all the four limits are constant the order of integration is uh, uh, immaterial okay what well, you can either integrate with respect to x first or you can integrate with respect to y first okay. so uh, i will draw the diagram okay so this is x axis this is y axis okay and uh, this is o e equal to 0 this is x is equal to 0 so x is equal to c1 x is equal to c1 means uh, this is a line x is equal to c1 x is equal to c1 okay so this is the line x is equal to uh, x is equal, this is x is equal to c1 because dx x is equal to c2 and uh, this is the line dy so y equal to c3 and y equal to c4 so this is the line y equal to the common region is uh, this is a shadow region this is the common region between uh, okay if uh, f of x comma y is uh, 1 if f of x comma y is uh, 1 okay this double integral is nothing but area area of this uh, region area of this region only if f of x comma y is equal to 1 that is if you have c3 to c4 c1 to c2 dx dy so then that is equal to area of this a square or rectangle whatever it may be okay so now i'll go to the problem Find, find integral 1 to 2 and then 2 to 5 x, y, dx, dy. Solution. So here x varies from where to where x varies from 2 to 5 yes 2 to 5 very good and y varies from 1 to 2 okay so i is equal to integral 1 to 2 or 2 to 5 x y dx or d1 so this is the given form So now you can write this is equal to okay this is equal to how you can write integral one to integral two. one to two uh, of then, uh, integral two, two to five two to five x y x y dx or dx actually yeah. this is this is what function of 
f of x, x comma y. Ah, yeah, function of x comma y. Okay. Into dy. Okay. Function of d. Okay. Now, uh, this is equal to integral 1 to 2. If you integrate uh, this with respect to what? I need to integrate with respect to x. So, you should keep y is constant. So, y into because I need to keep y is constant. x dx. So, x squared by 2. Limit is from 2 to 5 into d1. Now, I took this 1 by 2 constant is outside the integral. 1 to 2 y upper limit because here I have only x square so 5 square is 25 minus lower limit 2 square 2 square is 4 into d1 so this is uh, uh, 21 by 22 21 by 22 integral integral 1 to 2, 1 to 2, y dy. So 21 by 2, if we integrate this, we will get uh, y square by 2, limit is from 1 to 2, so 21 by 4, 2 into 2, 4, upper limit is uh, 4 minus 1. So, 3 into 21, 63 by 4. So this is the final answer. Okay. So, you can also do it, uh, this problem, and uh, uh, you can change the limits. That means it's, uh, interchange the order because all the limits are constant. So, okay. Well. So, originally, what I will write the original problem is 1 to 2, okay, 2 to 5. Into 2, 2 to 5, x, y, dx, dy. So instead of doing, instead of uh, doing like this, you can write, uh, first uh, here, here 2 to 5, okay, uh, and then 1 to 2, if I do like this, then here uh, dy, dy, and then dx. So you can do only if all the limits are constants. Then only you can write like this. Okay. So first you can integrate with respect to y. So keep x is constant. So integral 2 to 5 bhavan I think bhavan is uh, Hello, Bhavan. Why you are using? Is Bhavan is here? So integral two to five. Okay. Now I am, I am going to integrate with respect to y. So keep x is constant. So x into y square by two. The limit is from where to where? Uh, 1 to 2 into dx. So here 1 by 2 is constant. So take it out. 2 to 5. x into upper limit. 2 square is 4. Minus 1 square is 1 into dx. So this is 3. So 3 by 2 x dx so if you integrate this you'll get what x square by 2 limit is from 2 to 5 so 3 by 4 2 to 2 4 uh, x square 25 minus 4 so 21 into 3 again 63 by 4 i think we got we got the uh, same answer And then the next idea is uh,
suppose i i is equal to integral uh, the outer limit is constant c1 to c2 but the inner limit is a variable limit something like uh, pi 1 of x and uh, pi 2 of x okay uh, f of x comma y into uh, dx into d okay so actually uh, if if they give like this actually here what is varying here anybody what is very x varying x variable or y variable x uh, actually if you look at you can uh, uh, you can uh, because you are telling because here x okay so but it, x is not varying here uh, originally here y is varying the reason is you can write uh, y is equal to some function of x okay so so this should be y okay this should be y this should be x this should be x okay but uh, if you see here here it is dx okay well maybe some other students will uh, see here dx so it should be x it's not like this okay if the all the limits are constant then okay suppose these two are constant you can write here x here y here it is a this is function of x so you need to write you need to rewrite this equation in the correct form how to write in the correct form x is equal to c1 to c2 y equal to pi 1 of x y equal to pi 2 of x f of x comma y f of x comma y and then dy and then dx so now it is in the correct form okay dy y and then dx x okay so here c1 and c2 are c1 c2 are constants phi 1 of x if phi 1 comma phi 2 are functions of x or you can say this is a variable limits okay so now now originally this is like this okay well. so i am rewriting like this okay well. so first if you are integrating with respect to what why so this is uh, i want to em uh, emphasize to you okay so in this example in this uh, I, not example okay oh, uh, in this uh, point okay so second point i want to tell the important thing here why is varying means here first dy and then dx so that is the only thing you should remember okay so if you integrate with respect to y you will get what will get a function of x because after substituting the limits for y you will get a function of x remaining you have what integration x is equal to c1 to c2 f of x or f1 of x <coughs> into dx and then integrate as a single integration integrate with respect to x substitute the limits for this uh, okay i will draw the uh, uh, diagram okay i don't have enough space i will draw the diagram in the next page okay x axis so y axis okay so this is y equal to 0 so this is x equal to 0 uh, and then x is equal to c1 to x is equal to c2 
So this is x is equal to c1. This is x is equal to c2. And y equal to pi 1 of x. Or like this. Okay. Uh, it, it is like this. Assume. Okay. y equal to This is y equal to pi 1 of x and y equal to pi 2 of x is like this. Okay. So now the common region is the intersection of all the four, uh, uh, all the four, uh, okay, bounded by these four. Uh, these two lines and these two curves. So, okay, this is the, sh if you want, you can shard like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to solve, using this idea, I'm going to solve one problem. Example. Find integral minus uh, 1, 2, 2. x2 x plus 2 dy dx dy dx okay so here uh, uh please tell now what is varying here don't Why see it? yeah don't see this one okay wow. so you don't see this one okay without uh, looking this, you should tell, okay, why is very, you are correct. So here, why is very. Suppose the problem is, like this, dx dy, then also you should tell why is very here. Okay, but if the, the problem is not in the correct order, then you can change it like this. How you can change it? Minus 1, 2, plus 1, which are 2, and x2, x plus 2, okay, you should write in the uh, correct order, dx, dy. So this is the correct order. Okay. Actually, this is not change of order of integration. This is not change of order of integration is something different. Okay, that I will, we will discuss later. So here we are writing the order of integration in a correct manner. So original problem is uh, like this, dy, dx, okay, so solution. So here minus 1, 2, uh, I'll take i. So here, uh, okay. So actually if this is uh, y, then, sorry, uh, y equal to x2, y equal to x plus 2. So this should be x, this should be x, x varies from minus 1 to x is equal to 2 dy dx. Now integrate the inner integral with respect to y. So i is equal to x is equal to minus 1 to plus 2. If you integrate dy, we will get y. The limit is from y equal to x2 x plus 2 into dx the limit of x is equal to minus 1 to plus 2 upper limit is x plus 2 y equal to x plus 2 minus y equal to x so x x gets cancelled you have 2 into dx minus 1 to plus uh, 2 2 into uh, 2 into x into dx. If you integrate this one, you will get uh, 2 into x square by 2. The limit is from minus 1 to plus 2. So 2 to gets cancelled. 4, uh, 4, yeah. Min yeah. 
one show the previous slide sir sir xx cancel sir we will get two only sir not two x sir okay 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 thank you professor sir actually two yeah we will get only two so two into dx okay so so we have this is equal to two into uh, integration of dx is x the limit is from minus one to two so two into two minus half for minus one so this is actually three into two six okay okay the next uh, uh, idea okay the next point or idea okay third one in the integral i the outermost uh, integral is constant c3 to c4 the innermost integral is what here uh, no, that is okay that is a pi of y oh yeah pi of the here we took function of x function of x here function of y so you have pi 1 of y pi 2 of y so if you see this you should tell x should be very here okay va not y okay so f of x comma y into dx dy so if this is a problem then first you need to integrate uh, c3 to c4 c3 to c4 first uh, pi 1 of y this x is equal to pi 1 of y2 x is equal to pi 2 of y uh, f of x comma y into dx and then dy if you integrate the innermost integral with respect to x and substitute the limits you will get the function of y after uh, getting function of y if you integrate uh, the outermost integral with respect to y you will get the final answer so for this uh, i will draw the diagram here x axis or y axis this is actually y y equal to c3 to y equal to c4 so y equal to c3 means uh, this is a line y equal to c3 this is a line y equal to c4 okay and uh, x is equal to pi 1 of x so it it is look like uh, imagine like this okay it's so like a curve okay x is equal to pi 1 of y and x is equal to pi 2 of y is another curve so now uh, your uh, region is uh, bounded by these two straight line and these two curve that means uh, this is the common region Okay. So now using this idea we will solve one problem. So example find integral zero to one, y to one. x y dx dy okay so don't see the uh, here okay just you see here here y to 1 y to 1 means what is varying here x x very good x is very okay. 
i is equal to once you find the inner limit x varies from y to x is equal to 1 and y this should be y y equal to 0 to 1 uh, x y and dx dy okay after finding the is integral and you also check it uh, here x means here dx suppose in this problem instead of dx dy sometimes they gave a uh, dy dx okay then you should rewrite here instead of dy dx you should write dx dy okay so uh, first you should integrate with respect to what x keep y is constant so y equal to 0 to 1 uh, y is constant uh, here uh, x dx if you integrate x dx uh, x with respect to uh, x you will get what x square by 2 x square by 2 the limit is from uh, y to 1 y to 1 dy so 1 by 2 is constant integral y equal to 0 to 1 uh, y into upper limit 1 minus lower limit is y square into dy now multiply y minus y cube zero to one y minus y cube into dy now okay integrate with respect to y one by two uh, y dy if you integrate you will get what y square by uh, y square by two minus uh, y power 4 by 4 limit is from 0 to 1 so 1 by 2 upper limit 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 lower limit 0 minus 0 so this is 1 by 2 okay if you take uh, LCM this is actually what 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 so this is 1 by 8 final answer is 1 by 8 okay so here actually we discussed uh, three uh, important uh, point first one is what first one all the four limits are constants okay well. so then the order of integration is immaterial you can integrate with respect to x or you can integrate with respect to y so we solved one problem okay and uh, the second one the innermost integral is a function of y the outermost integral is constant so if it is the innermost integral is a function of y sorry function of x then that uh, y should vary even though it is here it is dx first uh, because here y is varying i I, need, I should write dy and then dx that means i need to integrate first with respect to y and, and then with respect to x okay that is the second uh, idea and then we solve one problem using this third one is the innermost integral is a function of y the outermost integral is constant okay the always the outermost integral is constant okay so here you can see it's a, it's a uh, function of y means x is varying okay i have dx no problem so uh, first i am integrating with respect to x and then i am integrating with respect to y so now i think uh, using this idea also we solved one problem now i will go to the next uh, problem the next problem is uh, please write down um, integral 0 to pi by 2 uh, integral 0 to pi by 2 and then integral 0 to pi by 2 sir yeah sir why can't we the first uh, integral be variable uh, variable sir uh, second this one uh. 
yes sir yeah actually if it is a variable you can't uh, find the uh, uh, answer yeah exactly yes okay okay that's why so interval 0 to pi by 2 interval 0 to pi by 2 sign of uh, theta plus phi theta plus phi into d theta into d phi solution okay so can anyone tell how to solve this problem here all the limits are what constants okay here all the limits constant, are yeah. constant you can uh, you can solve in any order okay i will take this is a theta this is a phi so i is equal to phi equal to 0 to pi by 2 theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin of theta plus pi into d theta first uh, integrate with respect to theta and then uh, phi so phi equal to 0 to pi by 2 if you integrate with respect to theta what you get sir sin of a plus b is equal to uh, Chandra, if you integrate sine, you will get what? Cos. cos. Yeah, yeah, minus cos. Yes, sir. Minus cos theta plus phi. Uh, you are integrated with respect to theta. Coefficient of theta is 1 into 1. The limit is from theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 into d phi okay so now i will take this minus outside the integral phi varies from 0 to pi by 2 i need to substitute the limits for theta so cos pi by 2 plus phi upper limit minus lower limit lower limit is what cos theta equal to 0 so cos pi into d phi okay so pi by 2 plus means which quadrant second quadrant second quadrant yeah the second quadrant cos is negative so minus uh, it will change into what minus sin pi Okay, well, cos of pi by 2 plus pi is minus sin pi. I will write in the next page. So, minus integral 0 to pi by 2 minus sin pi minus cos pi into d5. Okay. So, now throughout multiply by minus you will get 0 to pi by 2 sin pi plus cos pi into d phi now integrate with respect to phi you will get minus cos pi plus sin pi the limit is from 0 to pi by 2 upper limit minus cos pi by 2 plus sin pi by 2. So the upper limit is over minus uh, lower limit minus cos 0 plus sin 0. Okay. Cos pi by 2 is 0, sin pi by 2 is 1 minus of uh, uh, cos 0 is 1, so minus 1, sin 0 is 0, so we will get a 2, final answer is 2. Sir, yeah. by expanding we can't do, sir. 
Uh, expansion, okay. If you expand, you'll get what? Sin A cos B, okay, what? Yes, uh, sin A cos B plus, plus cos A sin cos B. A sin B. Uh, okay, uh, you can do it, but I feel that this is a little bit easier. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir? Yeah, please tell Rahul. Sir, instead of theta, if it is 2 theta. Ah, yeah, by 2. By 2, uh, sir? Yes, by 2. Okay, sir. Uh, I think uh, integration of sine 2x is what? Uh, sine 2x dx is equal to minus uh, uh, cos 2x by uh, yeah, 2. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Sir. Yeah, welcome, Rahul. Welcome. So. I'll go to the next problem. Next problem is in choose from book. Evaluate integral zero to one integral x two root x x y into x plus y dx dy solution. Here, uh, what is varying here? Right. Yeah, y. Okay, well, so if, if it is y, okay, find out this is y equal to x2, y equal to root x, uh, and the x should be what? 0 to 1. Uh, this is, uh, okay, you can multiply. You can multiply x square y plus uh, x y square. Okay, into if it is y, this should be first to y. Okay, well, and then and then x dx. So even though it is given like this, you should write in the correct uh, order. Okay, so again, this is not changing the order. You are writing the given integral in the meaningful way or in the correct way. Okay. Now x is equal to 0 to 1. I am going to integrate the inner integral, okay, with respect to y. So if you integrate with respect to y, you should keep x is constant. x square, you should keep as it is. If you integrate y, y square by 2 plus x into y cube by The limit is from y equal to x to y equal to root x okay, into dx. Okay. Now apply the limits for y equal to root x. y equal to root x means uh, x is equal to 0 to 1 x square <coughs> into y square is what? x r x by 2 plus x into y cube is x power 3 by 2 by 3 upper limit is over minus lower limit x square into y equal to x means x square by 2 plus x into y equal to x means x cube divided by 3 into dx. Okay, now simplify and tell in the next page x cube by 2 integral 0 to 1 x cube by 2 
okay and then plus x power 1 x power 3 by 2 so x power 5 by 2 by 3 minus x power 4 by 2 uh, this is uh, x actually this is also x power 4 uh. so this is also x power 4 by 2 this is x power 4 by uh, 3 so if you take lcm uh, 6 you will get what 3 x power 4 plus uh, 2 x power 4 so 2 plus 3 5 5 x power 4 by 6 so minus 5 x power 4 by 6 into dx the next uh, it is a single integral okay with respect to x so we'll get uh, x power 4 4 into 2 8 plus x power 5 by 2 plus 1 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2 divided by uh, already half 3 into 7 by 2 minus 5 by 6 into x power 4 by sorry x power 5 by 5 okay here also here also it is better to write initially uh, x power 4 here 2 into 4 <coughs> x power 4 by but limit is what limit is <coughs> 0 to 1 so x power 4 by 8 Okay, this uh, uh, 2 by 21 now, 2 by 21, x power 7 by 2, minus 5, 5 gets cancelled, x power 5 by 6, upper limit is actually 0 to 1, okay. So now, upper limit is 1, so 1 by 8 plus uh, 2 by 21 because uh, this is sir, 1 this is yeah sir x power 4 by 2 plus 3 no sir uh -huh. actually 2 in, actually if you integrate uh, x cube okay x power n is equal to x power n n by n plus four, 1 yeah 4 okay yeah n plus 1 if it is 4 here 4 already here have 2 okay sir okay sir uh, yeah I think actually you are uh, uh, yeah I think you got it so now this is what x power uh, okay substitute the limits means 1 by 6 minus 0 0 because everywhere x is equal to 0 0 0 0 so if you take uh, LCM what is LCM uh, 21 nine zero eight, sir. Uh, 56 or other 168, sir. 168, ah, uh, Paritosh 168. Okay, very good, Paritosh. Yeah. So if you take 168, uh, what you will get here? 21. 21, okay. Plus 8, uh, minus how much? Uh, this is uh, 168 means uh, 28. 26, uh, 8, sir. 28. Sir, 21 plus 16, sir, because we have 2 into two, 8. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 16. 16. Okay. So, this is actually 37. 37 minus uh, 28 is uh, 9. So, 9 by 168. If you simplify... We can divide by 3, so 5, 
186 okay 3 by 36 okay very good so for practice i will give uh, one problem okay practice problem verify double integral 1 to 2 0 to 1 x square plus y square into dx dy is equal to uh, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, x square plus y square, here dx dy, here dy dx, okay. Uh, the answer for this problem is, uh, uh, 8 by 3 answer so that means you should evaluate the left hand side left hand side and get 8 by 3 and then the right hand side you should need to evaluate and you should get 8 by 3 it's the problem So, evaluate. Integral 0 to 1. Integral 0 to root of uh, 1 plus y square. Um, plus y square into dx uh, dy divided by 1 plus x square plus y square. Okay. So here, if you see here, uh, what is varying? x is varying. Okay. First x i equal to uh, if it is x varies from 0 to root of 1 plus y square and y varies from 0 to 1 so first dx okay dx and then i will write a uh, uh, group like this 1 plus y square plus x square into dy the reason why I am writing the denominator like this, the reason is integration of dx by a square plus x square, okay, wow. is equal to what? One by a tan inverse, uh, tan inverse of x by a. Very good, permission. Tan inverse of x by a. So. Now, this is our form, okay, well, dx, this is a square. What is a square? A square is 1 plus y square. So, a equal to root of 1 plus y square. So, this integration is equal to integral y equal to 0 to 1, uh, 1 by a, a is uh, root of 1 plus y square tan inverse of x okay instead of x okay x because x square x square so x by a what is a again a equal to root of 1 plus y square the limit the limit is for including this a okay well. so uh, the students sometimes uh, they leave this uh, one by a they will only put uh, substitution for tan inverse part okay so that is wrong so x is equal to 0 to root of 1 plus y square into d1 okay now i need to substitute the limits 
So the limit is integral 0 to 1. Okay, 1 by 1 plus uh, root of 1 plus y square. So <coughs> into tan inverse of tan inverse of uh, root of 1 plus y square by root of 1 plus y square is 1. So tan inverse of 1. I'll write directly tan inverse of 1 minus again uh, 1 by root of 1 plus y square. Tan inverse of x is equal to 0 means tan inverse of 0. into dy. So tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. So pi by 4, 1 by root of 1 plus y, y square is common. So I will take this is common. Tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 minus tan inverse of 0 is 0 into dy. So this is pi by 4 is pi by 4 is a constant so I will take it out of the integral so pi by 4 pi by 4 integral 0 to 1 dy by root of 1 plus y square so again you should know the uh, formula from the plus 1 plus 2 level dx by root of a square plus x square equal to what? Sine. Ah. Please tell. I forgot it sir. Forgot. Sir ah. log. Ah, okay. Log. Ah. Log of mod x. Ah plus under root x square plus a square x square plus a square very good paritosh okay so log of uh, x plus uh, root of x square plus a square so this this is we studied in the uh, trigonometry this is equal to what actually not uh, like this uh, we studied uh, uh, sin h inverse of x is equal to what? Log of x plus root of x square plus 1. Is it correct, uh, Rahul? Uh, Paritosh? Hyperbolic function. Sin yes, h inverse of, of x is equal to log of x plus uh, root of x square plus 1. So, suppose if it is here, instead of a, okay, well, it is 1, then you can write this is uh, sin h inverse of x. Or, okay, so this is also equivalent to, uh, I think, uh, sin Gobu, h inverse yeah, of Gobu Gobu told that uh, started sin h inverse of X by, X by A. A. Very good. So this is equal to sin H inverse of X by A or this is equal to log of X plus uh, root of X square plus A square. But uh, sin H inverse of X when A equal to 1, we have log of X plus root of X square plus 1. Okay. So I will directly use uh, log formula. Okay. Wow. So this is nothing but what? Uh, log of x plus root of x square plus 1. Limit is from 0 to 1. So if you substitute the upper limit, you will get what? So pi by 4. log of 1 plus uh, root 2 this is upper limit 
mine is lower limit uh, log 0 plus uh, uh, 0 plus 1 so log 1 minus log 1 log 1 is a 0 the final answer is pi by 4 log of 1 plus 2 so this is the final answer Next problem. I think this is a little bit easier problem, easier one. Evaluate a triple integral 0 to 2 pi, 0 to pi, uh, 0 to a. Here all the limits are constant r power 4 sin pi dr dr d pi d theta so here all the limits are constant so dr first dr means here r is varying and then d pi means here pi is varying d theta means theta is varying Solution i equal to uh, theta, theta equal to 0 to 2 pi and uh, pi equal to 0 to pi, r equal to 0 to a, r power 4 into dr because I am going to integrate first, first with respect to r, so remaining I will write uh, here d, remaining is what d pi sorry sin pi into d pi into d theta so if you integrate this with respect to r so forget about the remaining integral remaining function so only you should concentrate about only this square box what is inside so r power 5 by 5 integral uh, 0 to 2 pi pi varies from 0 to pi okay if r power 5 by 5 the limit is from r equal to 0 to a into sin pi d pi d theta This is pi. Okay. So 1 by 5 is a constant. Theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. Pi varies from 0 to pi. A power 5 minus 0 into sin pi d pi t theta. So this is equal to a power 5 is also constant. So a power 5 by 5 remaining is what? Theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. And then pi varies from 0 to pi into sine phi. So here phi is varying. So inside I will keep only function of phi and then theta. Now I am going to integrate with respect to phi, you will get minus cos pi, cos phi a power phi by phi a limit is from theta equal to 0 to 2 pi ok, if you integrate uh, sin phi, you will get minus cos phi limit is from 0 to pi minus cos 5 limit is from 
zero to pi into remaining is d theta. Remaining is d theta. So minus is also constant. Minus one is constant. So minus a power five by five. Okay. Uh, integration theta varies from zero to two pi cos pi minus cos zero into d theta. Cos pi is minus one. Cos zero is one. Yeah. So a power five by five integral zero to two pi. Minus one, minus uh, cos zero is one. Uh, d theta. This is minus two. So minus of minus plus two into a power five by five. Integration zero to two pi d theta. So that is a uh, theta. If you integrate zero to two pi. So two a power five by five. Upper limit is uh, two theta. Uh, sorry, two pi. Theta equal to two pi. Lower limit is zero. The final answer is final answer is four pi a power five by five. This is the final answer. Okay, and the last problem. Evaluate two to integral uh, zero to log two zero to x zero to x plus one e power x plus Y plus Z into dx dy dz. Okay. So now here have variable limits. If it is a variable limits, don't see here. But if it is a constant limit, if it is a constant limit, everything. So you can see the order. So r and then pi and then theta. So everything is constant. That's why, because order of integration is immaterial. But here we have the variable limits. Okay, so look at here. What is very here? Z. Very Z. good. Very good. Z is very. So what is missing? Okay. So Z is missing. So Z is very. Okay. What is very here? Y. Y. Sir. Y. The last option X. Okay. Very good. I think now you got it. I equal to so is that equal to zero to x plus y? This is plus. Okay, y varies from zero to x, and x varies from zero to log two. So e power in the integrand is what e power x plus y plus z. First you should write d z. Okay, wa. Well, first you should write d z, and then and then uh, y uh, y means d y, and then d x. Okay. So even though okay, next I will write uh, uh, okay, I will write zero to log two. Zero uh, to x here is that equal to zero to x plus y? I am going to integrate with respect to z. That's why I'll keep only z term here. Remaining term that is e power. You can write e power x plus y into e power z. So I will write e power x plus y here. Okay. So concentrate only only this box. So if you integrate e power z, you'll get e power z. Okay, limit is from z equal to zero to x plus one.
zero to x, and uh, yeah, if you integrate uh, e power z with respect to z, e power z, the limit is from uh, zero to x plus y. Is that equal to zero to x plus y into what? E power x plus y uh, into dy dx. Okay. Now apply the limits. Zero to log two. Zero to x. Is that equal to x plus y? So e power x plus y minus e power zero is one. Into e power x plus y into dy into dx. Okay. So now this is equal to integration zero to log two. Okay. If you integrate, okay. Before don't go integration. First you should multiply and uh, and then you can integrate. So e power x plus y uh, into e power x plus y is e power 2x plus 2y. Okay, and then minus 1 into e power x plus y is minus e power x plus y. And then integrate with respect to what? Y, because uh, here y is varying. Y varies from uh, 0 to x. And then uh, x. Even though you can keep only a y term here. Okay, in the next step, I am going to uh, split e power x into e power 2y, like this. So, uh, 0 to log 2, uh, integral 0 to log 2, integral y equal to 0 to x. Okay, uh, e power 2x into e power 2y. minus uh, e power x into e power y into dy and then dx. Now only concentrate about this integral. If you integrate with respect to y, keep this is constant, this is also constant. So 0 to log 2. Okay, e power 2x. So keep constant because you are integrating with respect to y. So e power 2 e integrate for now, e power 2y by 2 minus e power x is constant now. If you integrate e power y, e power y by 1. Limit is from y equal to 0 to y equal to x into dx. So integration 0 to log 2. If you substitute the limits for y equal to x, here we will get what? e power 2x into e power 2x by 2. Minus e power x into e power x. Upper limit is over. Minus lower limit. e power 2x into 1 by 2 minus e power x into 1 okay and then and then into dx dx okay so now uh, now uh, you need to simplify. Uh, please wait one minute. Okay. So if you simplify, we'll get what e power 2x into e power 2x is what? e power 4x by 2. So integration 0 to log 2, 0 to log 2, 
e power 4x by 2a check it carefully e power 4x by 2 and then minus uh, e power 2x e power 2x okay and then minus uh, e power 2x by 2 minus e power x uh, plus e power x uh, 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 it's okay plus e power x into dx. So you can group these two 0 to log 2 e power 4x by 2 minus uh, 3 by 2 into e power 2x plus e power x into dx. And now integrate if you integrate the e power 4x, you will get what? e power 4x by 4, 4 into 2, 8, minus uh, 3, e power 2x. If you integrate e power 2x, e power 2x by 2, 2 into 2, 4, plus if you integrate e power x, e power x by 1, limit is from 0 to log 2. So upper limit for x is equal to log 2. <coughs> so you will get what? e power 4 log 2 divided by 8 minus uh, 3 by 4 <coughs> e power 2 log 2 plus e power log 2 e power log 2 is 2. This is upper limit minus lower limit is e power 0 1 so 1 by 8 minus uh, 3 by 4 because e power 0 is 1 plus uh, e power 0 is 1 so this this one you can write using properties of logarithm e power log 2 power 4 <coughs> e power log 2 power 4 divided by 8 minus uh, 3 by 4 this is e power log 2 power 4 2 power not 4 2 power 2 and this is uh, 2 plus 2 minus this is 1 by 8 uh, I think you take 8 is LCM you take 8 is LCM 1 uh, for 6 minus 6 plus 8 so this is nothing but 2 power 4 16 by 8 minus 3 by 4 uh, this is uh, 4 2 square is 4 plus 2 minus 9, 9 6 portion of 3 by 8 are. okay this is a 2 minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 by 8 so this is what this is actually 4 1 minus 3 by 8 final answer 8 minus 3 5 by 8 5 by 8. So this is the final answer. Practice problem 2. Evaluate triple integral 0 to 1, 0 to 1 minus z, 0 to 1 minus. Uh, y minus z into x y z into dx dy dz okay so the final answer is 1 by 720 try this problem so you can see easily here 
what is varying here? X. X. Yes. Okay. Yeah, X. Here. Y. Uh, y. Yes. Here is it. So I think it is in the correct order. Okay. X. Y. Z. So try. So I will stop here. Uh, so remaining problem we will discuss in the next class. But only thing in just we will. Uh, if you want to familiar in multiple integral, uh, first you, uh, you should refer Virajan book and try to solve uh, more problems. Then only you will be familiar with uh, multiple integrals. Okay. Thank you. Tomorrow we will meet in the first hour. Thank you, Gokul. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Vitri.